When it comes to Halloween decorations, there's certainly no shortage of options. Spooky ghosts can serve as a cartoonish reminder of your own mortality. A fine display of cobwebs can make your entryway look downright decrepit. And if you have no interest in scaring people whatsoever, you're free to just do something like this. But sinking a little bit of pocket change into a makeshift display would put you in the minority because Americans are on track to spend a record amount of cash on Halloween this year. This year, about 73% of US adults plan to celebrate the holiday, whether that's handing out candy, decorating their home or yard, or dressing up in costume. And total spending is expected to reach $12.2 billion. This is up from $10.6 billion last year and the highest in our survey's history. This woman is with the National Retail Federation. And when it comes to Halloween decorations, consumers say they will spend a total of $3.9 billion this year. Yeah, that's a lot of Sharpies and triangles. This family out of Virginia, for instance, just coughed up their fair share of the $3.9 billion in projected Halloween decoration spending. We do this to create a safe environment for the community to come and enjoy uh, Halloween and have somewhere to go that they can get candy and be scared and all the good stuff that Halloween is supposed to be. This year, they've got a doll that lunges out towards you, a skeleton dog that speaks without using its mouth, the treasure of your deepest fears, and some jack-o'-lanterns that just kind of sit on the porch. It's going to be scary on Halloween. Maybe at night, since it's not that scary during the day, but it is quite the display. This family says it spends thousands of dollars every year on brand new Halloween displays. And it even sounds like they'd be willing to shell out even more. I would spend whatever to see the look on the kids' faces and the adults' faces when they bring their kids. It's just enjoyable. Well, this four-figure family-friendly exhibit is certainly a marked difference than the one that's making waves in Utah. Because if spiders, demons, and the previously dead just aren't satisfying enough, how about a little adult entertainment? You're looking at a skeleton pole dancing display that was erected about a half hour west of Salt Lake City. As memorialized in the surveillance footage, this gentleman's club of the damned was set up on a street sign post. Says the guy who made it. Maybe a little risque for some people, but it's I, just in, you know, all in the name of fun. The generous display, which appears to be offering up both ones and fives to this bony pole dancer, is apparently the talk of the town, at least in this local restaurant. I think it brings a lot of good humor that we need to a small town. We're gonna go tip them when we leave. We know, we, we know what it's like to work for chips. I know. <laughs> While these waitresses here appreciate the Halloween decor, the city of Grantsville doesn't seem so pleased to have this skeleton stripper truly revealing all. On the city's official Facebook, they wrote, to the person responsible, you have until 9 p.m. tonight to take down your decorations or they'll be removed by the city. Displays like this are not acceptable, as it is against city code to attach anything to a street sign. That post has since been deleted, but in the Facebook replies concerning Grantsville, a city in which 76.1% of its voters in 2020 chose Donald Trump, the leading 2024 Republican presidential candidate, who was previously impeached twice, has since been found liable for sexual abuse and defamation, and currently faces 91 criminal charges against four indictments for attempting to steal the 2020 presidential election, illegally retain classified documents, and falsify business records in connection to hush money payments to a porno actress. One person wrote about these Halloween decorations, I guess teaching our children respect, decency, and manners has gone by the side. The kids understand what what that is, maybe the problem's not not the skeleton dancing on the pole, maybe it's uh, something else. Since our man here did indeed construct a makeshift peeler bar on city property, he followed the decree of the Facebook post and took the whole thing down, and then immediately set the whole thing up on his own property. We look forward to keeping this going and uh, getting it a little bit more uh, elaborate as we go. As mentioned before, the National Retail Federation expects Halloween-related spending to hit $12.2 billion this year which breaks down to about $108 per person in the US. But it's not clear how much of that includes boned wads of stripper money. 